Hello guys, I'm the Electrical Runner, and this video is the first in a series where I basically teach people the very, 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 very basics of redstone. And if you're anything like me, I used to have no idea of how to do redstone. Now I have a basic idea, and there's a lot of people that have trouble with redstone, so the goal of this series is pretty much to teach you about redstone. So, pretty much, redstone's a very important item used to pop used to power items like lamps, pistons, or torches. Not torches, or like TNTs. So, in order to power those items, you're gonna need to send a redstone pulse. A redstone pulse is basically when you use a redstone torch or something to power to power the redstone so it lights up to send the pulse over to the item that you're powering. There are five conventional ways to send a pulse. And the first one is levers, which are basically a constantly on or off state. It, pr it provides a constant pulse into the item that you're powering. And then you have pressure plates and pressure plates. There are two different types of them. There's the wooden pressure plates and the stone pressure plates. These are unique because what they do is they only power the item that you're trying to power when you're standing on them or a mob. And they have a slight delay as to when you get off of them. But it's not just you who has to stand on them. It could be any mob such as this pig here. And wooden pressure plates can be in fact char um can in fact be uh can in fact be uh, depressed by dropping an item on them when stone ones cannot and stone ones can only be uh launched when a mob such as that pig or a creeper or I or another player step on them then the fourth way you could send a pulse is similar to pressure plates in that it involves you walking over them and that is through a tri trip wire I don't know if you can see this, but you see that faint line? That's a tripwire. Now, these are a little bit harder to hook up than, uh... What the hell just happened there? Oh, yeah, guys. Um, just a dis quick disclaimer. I am still pretty bad at redstone. This is serious teaching me just as much as it is you. So, if there are any myths, like... If there are any wrong facts, just leave a comment, and I'll, like, put an annotation up or put it in the description. But anyway, tripwires are sort of similar to pressure plates as you can only... Like, they only go off when you're standing on them. And they're harder to hook up, but they are harder to see, and items do not trip them. Never mind. Items do trip trip wires. Another way you could power redstone is through a button. Buttons send a short pulse. Oh uh, yeah, redstone is very glitchy. That normally does not happen. But uh, buttons send a short pulse, and then it, that quickly dissipates. And then, lastly there is the redstone torch. The redstone torch constantly powers the redstone wire and sends a constant pulse to power the item, unless you, the only way to get rid of it is to destroy it completely, but then you can just place it back. A redstone pulse only has a limit of about 15 blocks, so after the 15th block, it will not power any more items after that, so if I put the piston here, it will not go off, as opposed to if I put it here, it would. I hope you guys enjoyed this very short video on how to send a redstone pulse. The next video I will, which will be out like Wednesday or so, it will be covering how to power certain items like TNT or pistons, because pistons are sort of hard to figure out at first because you need to be on top and level with them. But just subscribe when you want to see that, and I will be continuing this to very, very advanced redstone. And I hope you guys enjoyed this new series I'm going to be making, and uh, have, have a good time and bye.